hi there in the new topic i will be continue with the principal component analysis the feature selection using pca the feature selection is a learning process that chooses an optimal subset of features according to the certain criteria it is a optimization of problem the three approaches were mentioned the first one is a filter approach second one is a wrapper approach and third one is a embedded approach now in the filter approach works on picking up in strings properties based on univariant statistics the information gain t square fish fisher score correlation coefficient variance now here we can see in the diagrammatic representation the original feature is correlated with the important square here you can see this this one and the importance is score is based on selecting the best or it is transferred to the selecting best and it is again forwarded to learning algorithm and that learning algorithm is used for performance so it is a filter method generally it is a selection procedure method the original features will be subsequently used for important score and the important score is used to selecting the best and the selecting best is used learning algorithm and the learning algorithm is used for performance checking so this is how the filter method works now coming to the next slide the intrinsic the intrinsic properties the information gain based on entropy the entropy is a major of impurity uncertainty disorder in the data sets the information gain is nothing but major reduction in uncertainty that is in entropy given some features and decision tree selection of root node and thereafter splitting it can be used on information gain calculation of information gain requires entropy values in the later slides we will going to learn the decision trees so in the decision trees all these labels will come into picture that is root node and uh, decision parameters in which the consisting uh, in which they are used in decision trees so this will be uh, evaluated or this will be explained into the upcoming slides so till then you can just understand and you can just try to know the name of the properties entropy properties so the entropy what is entropy the entropy is a measure of homogeneity returns information about an arbitrary data set that how it is impure non homogeneous uncertain the data set now this is a one data sets given with the help of the circles in which there are consisting of the color dots and having dots having two colors one is a red and the other one is a green here you can see that every green dot is separated by red dot or every red dot is separated by green dot so that means there is a no relationship between the green dot uh, from this side to other green dot side or there is red dot from other side to th that other uh, that side means that is here that means red dot is try to cut the green dot and green dot is not try to fix the red dot also so this is the how it is works so basically it's very impure the less impure how will decide it that that is the green dot is somewhat of connected to each other and the red dots are splitted across over each other this is a less impure and the minimum impurity or less impurity is this everywhere is a green dot but there is a still impurity because it's may consist of the space among the between the data sets so this is how the entropy works 
in AMS. This is the entropy formula, whereas the entropy ES is noted. This just write down. We will take this example on the later slides. So this is how the entropy play works. That is a play goal is yes, probability no probability so with the help of the entropy play goal is equal to entropy 5 by 9 so the entropy value in the help of the pie chart is 0.36.36 logs which means a minus here so calculation curve case 0 0.94 it will be the entropy of that so it's just a generalization of that the entropy formula is again is the help of the play goal for the outlook in weather cast forecast in terms of that is a sunny overcast rain play goal probability is yes or no all these figures we will discuss in the latest slides now the information gain major reduction in uncertainty entropy given some features this is the outlook given of the for the play goal yes or no this is the g is in bracket play goal of outlook is equal to entropy of play goal minus entropy of play goal with respect to outlook so these are the statistical features and calculate with the help of the uh, entropy formula so in terms of outlook forecast the K play goal probability is gain is 0 0.247 <coughs> So that is the probability is 0.247 and uh, in terms of temperature the gain is 0 0.029 probability value and in terms of humidity 0 0.152 and in terms of windy in air it is gain is 0 0.048 so there is a general thumb rule is that the more gain is less entropy more homogeneity this is the relation more gain less entropy more homogeneity now the wrapper method it measures the usefulness of feature based on the classifier performance it's a recursive estimation sequential algorithm on genetical algorithms sequential algorithms are greedy in search approaches that the meet of evolution criteria so the how it will be explained that is the original features is forwarded to generate a subset and generate a subset forward to learning algorithm it is again forwarded to general subset until and unless the learning algorithm give indication that the performance of this algorithm wrapper, wrapper method algorithm is not up to the mark so this is the selecting the best subset so this is the how the wrapper method is used now coming to the next slide search strategy this search strategy is nothing but the searching and data sets or searching and particular value in multiple data sets so what are the types of searches we can use in AIML is are the first one is the exhaustive search it exhaustive explore all possible subsets to find the optimal ones if threshold M of minimum features to be selected and the direction of search is decided the search space is independent of the forward or backward generation means it will may travel to the left right straight upward downward so it exhaustive search means you keep searching and keep looking back the, the imp, imp particle in real data set with the high m values so it's keep searching heuristic, heuro, heuristic search heuristic search adopts a approach of, to a problem based on previous solution to similar problems so it is a comparative search if we found an xy sets in the previous result that will again try to correlate with the xy set in the different category sets so it will found the similar subsets the search solution space while assessing where in the space the solution is most likely to be and focusing in the search in that area 
direction of search this is a strategy and this is the direction of search in which the sequential forward selection it start with an empty set s the features are added into s according to the criteria that distinguish best feature or pair or triplet etc s grows until it reaches a full set of original feature its top criteria can be threshold for the number of relevant feature m or simply the generation of all possible subset in brute force mode so sequential forward selection is nothing but a brute force forward selection method sequential backward elimination it start with a full set of features and iteratively they remove one at a time the criteria must point out the worst or least important features at the end subset only compared of a unique most informative search direction of search may consist of bi directional generations it's also called bg search in both direction performing sfs and sb concurrently stops in two cases that is when one search find the best subset comprised of m features before it reaches the exact middle or second one the both searches actually the middle of search space the feature is already already selected by sfs are not removed by sb or features already removed by sb and not added by sfs